Hi Greedy 3D is we're going to be testing some resins today and Form Labs have very kindly sent me some of their resin, some Creator Tough Resin and some Creator Super Clear Resin. Now if we take a look at first at the Creator Tough Resin we can see that it's currently priced at $29 for a kilogram, it's reduced from $44 and it's ACMO free and yes I'd not heard of that idea just to pause here momentarily to look at ACMO and what it is. Well ACMO or Acra Loyal Morpholine is a chemical that's added to 3D printing resin and it has a number of beneficial effects to the resin. It makes it less viscous, it makes it cure quicker so the curing time can go right down and it also can improve of course the speed of your printing because the exposure time has been reduced. The downside to ACMOs is you hear some 3D printers and I've been working in the 3D printing industry for a while and I've certainly experienced symptoms like these where you can get headaches, a little bit of eye irritation, a sore throat, feeling a little bit nauseous. Well, is that down to the ACMO or not? Well, Formlab certainly think there's enough risk for it to be down to that. They've done an awful lot of research into ACMO and all of their research can be found on their website and I will put a link in the description to it. But they've removed ACMO from their resin. So that risk has been removed and mitigated completely. Now, I'm not going to make the video about this ACMO and about completely about safety, but what I will say is that Form Labs have done a load of research and work on this. Uh, so I'm going to put the links down below. I suggest you read it and I suggest you draw your own conclusions from that. But for all intents and purposes, the resins I'm going to be using today by them do not contain ACMO. So first we're going to be using the Creator Tough resin and I'm going to be using it in the Hagears Ultracraft Reflex RS. Now I've got my doubts as to whether we're going to get anything viable here and the reason I'm concerned to say the least is that the exposure settings for this resin, because it's got no ACMO in which obviously increases the exposure times, we're looking at seven and a half to eight seconds per layer and I'm pretty certain that the RS doesn't fire at anything like that with its presets and of course you can't change them. So let's have a little look. Well it's printed, let's get it off and have a look at it. I've given it a cleaning IPA and I've cured it and my suspicions were indeed correct. What we had out was pretty much just a blob of gooey nothingness. I used PARP 10. I used PAP10 and I'm not going to waste my time trying anything else. It just hasn't worked at all. Starfleet, do you have them? Enterprise, what we got back didn't live long, fortunately. So I'm going to go to my Elegoo Mars 5 Ultra and of course here I can adjust the settings to get it to more to that seven and a half and eight seconds. I'm using the built-in RERF test with the Mars 5 Ultra and I'm going to play with some of the settings to see which one comes out better. I'm starting at around about seven seconds and then I'm going to put it up to 7.5, 8, 8.5 and, and a few ones in between just to have a little bit of a play. I'm going to use the frozen XP test again. I'm doing six different uh, tests on it, but in one single plate using the RERF test. And it looks like everything has printed. I've had no failures. I can see details. I'm giving it a bit of a clean in some IPA using the actual Elegoo uh, cleaning station. Now, yes, I could have probably held it in with the machine, but I just dipped it in by hand and held it there for a bit to get it all nice and clean. And everything's printed. I'm going to get them off and have a closer look at them, but at this stage I can't tell what's good and what's not good, so I'm just going to get them all off the build plate and have a closer look at them there. Now two of them broke completely when they came off, I think that was the uh, 8 and the, uh, sorry that was the 7 and the 7.5, but if I look at the 8 second exposure, I think out of all of them that wasn't too bad, it's not perfect by a long shot, it's a little bit overexposed, but then it has had and eight seconds of exposure. 7.5 didn't look much different, but it shattered when it came off. So I'm going to use eight seconds for my timing and I'm going to print some files from Loot Studios. I'm going to do a 3.2 and a larger file by them. I'll put a link in the description to these files. These are lovely files from Loot Studios. As you can see, I'm changing my exposure settings to 845 for a 
bottom layer of five seconds and yep everything printed wonderfully i did have to warm the resin with a hairdryer and i used the internal heater because there's no heater built in so i use sorry the external heater and it's all printed uh, so far it looks fine it looks wonderful no real dramas what i can see i'm going to try this form labs resin washing solution i've never tried this before to clean them off and i'm just going to pour a little bit into a tub now this stuff is quite expensive five liters was 60 quid so a lot more expensive than ipa but you know what they've sent me some to test so test it we will it came off the build plate fine so i've got no dramas with how the settings the base settings have been with this resin so that's always good there's been no failures everything looks okay let's get it into that solution what i'm going to do once it's in the solution is pop the lid on and just give it a waggle around i think i gave it a good old waggle and i left it to one side for five minutes to stew uh sorry 10 minutes later not five minutes i gave it a little bit of a rub all across with a toothbrush and then i left it for a further five minutes once i'd done that and i gave them a waggle obviously after i'd cleaned them with the toothbrush five minutes later so it's had about 15 minutes in there now i'm going to get them off and uh <clears throat> Mm, it, they don't feel particularly clean they feel a little bit sticky still a little bit gooey uh, i'm going to use a hairdryer to get the supports off and um, once they were heated up i've got to be honest the supports came off really really lovely i had no dramas getting the supports off now these models are, are a bit intricate there's a few finer points on them there's a few thinner parts and details but nothing broke i didn't get any breakages or anything like that there was a little bit of flexibility in the resin but it's been heated up so i would expect it to be a little bit flexible but i'm happy to report that the uh, supports came off with relative ease and no dramas at all and I'm left with the model which to the surface of the eye looks absolutely fine I think it's uh, it's printed wonderfully I, I don't think I can fault it what I can say though is they feel really really sticky and I'm just not happy with it so I did stick them in some IPA to have a good old clean maybe something I'm doing wrong with this cleaning solution but they were very sticky after 15 minutes and here they are they've been cured for about 10 minutes five minutes and then I rotated them around and cured the other side but you know what that's printed really really lovely I've got no problem in uh, or hesitation in saying i really enjoy the way they look i think it's come out great this is the larger 7.5 millimeter model and as you can see the detail is there uh, i think it's looking great it's nice and shiny it's not sticky anymore all the parts that should be there are there there's the tiny 3.21 and i put that uh, citadel part there just so you can have a look at it but i think that's printed great I cannot fault and I will not fault the quality of the resin printed on my Elegoo Mars 5 Ultra. It's an eight second exposure time. Details there, everything good. I'm a happy bunny with how this is printed, but of course it took a long time at eight seconds per layer time. But it has done what it said it would do and has printed well. I'm going to play with them a little bit later and see if they're brittle, see if I can bend them and move them because I've got some other things to print as well. But that to me looks very very nice very happy with this uh, creator tough resin by form labs now as a little bit of a comparison what i thought i'd do is use some of this elegoo abs like three and print all the models in it now the only difference between the two resins on the surface is that the elegoo is 18 dollars 99 for a kilogram and uh, the uh, form labs at full price is 44. the detail that you're getting on both of them i don't think i could say which one is better which one is worse i think they're both done a great job with the detail i think the skin colored one the beige one the color itself makes it look like there's more detail in there but up close do you know what they're absolutely identical i did see about the brittle test on them both though and i found that the elegoo abs it, it kind of was quite brittle and things were breaking off relatively easy i just needed to put a little bit of pressure with a finger and uh, they were snapping they were snapping relatively easy and i've experienced this before with the elegoo abs now the other advantage of course with this is it printed a lot quicker the exposure time was about three seconds but that's no good if they're going to be breaking after a short time or if you drop them off the shelf and i've got to say the form labs tough creator did not break at all it was not brittle at all i was able to bend things i was able to push and poke so from a strength perspective the uh, form labs resin definitely came out on top and won the no brittle competition hands down the next 
Form Labs resin we're looking at is the Creator Super Clear resin. This is a transparent or translucent resin. And if we just have a look on the website, it's not one of the cheapest ones. It's just under $45. Again, this is ACMO free. Now, the first thing I noticed about this resin was it's really thick and gloopy, but the man cave was about two degrees. It was really cold out there. So I'm not surprised that the resin is quite thick. I also noticed just how clear it is. It is like liquid glass. It's really, really lovely. Now I'm going to need to warm it up. There's no internal heater on the Mars 5 Ultra. So I'm going to use a hairdryer just to run across it to bring it up to some kind of workable temperature. That's quite hypnotic, isn't it? Just watching that, it's like waves on the sea. Oh, should I put some hypnotic music on here and you can just watch it and chill out and your blood pressure will fall a little bit. Now it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Now we're going to be printing again some Loot Studio minis on here. This is a 7.5 millimeter mini by them. And I'm going to leave it solid. I'm not going to hollow it out. And I'm going to use a uh, seven second exposure time, a 25 second base time for five. Now returning to the Mars 5 Ultra when it had finished, I was very happy to see a very clear glass-like resin protruding off the build plate. Wonderful, everything was lovely. Uh, came off the build plate itself without too much hassle. There was a little bit of fighting, the little, last little bit off, but no real drivers. Now I did decide to use the uh, Form Labs cleaning solution again. Soaked it for about 10 minutes, give it a waggle, give it an agitate. But this time when I'd finished, I put it in some nice warm warm water with just a hint of soap in there and I gave it a little bit of a clean off. I also used this warm water to help me get all the supports off and I'm happy to say that the supports came off this time without any problem. And I'd also want to say here that the uh, the stickiness that I found the first time around had pretty much gone so that had solved the problem. I gave it a cure in the Hagia's curing station for about five minutes and this is it. You can see there is not a hint of yellowing in this resin. It looks absolutely glass-like. It looks like ice. It's not brittle. It's firm. It's beautiful. It is an absolutely lovely, lovely translucent resin. So what kind of conclusion can we draw from that? Well, anyone that knows Form Labs, you know that they're not the cheapest company out there on the market. They are quite an expensive brand, but that's not to say that the products that they sell are not good. And if we just take a look at their tough creator resin here. I was really happy with how this little Loot Studios mini came out. It was a really highly detailed model. It was strong. It wasn't brittle. It did the job. It took an awful long time to expose at eight seconds a layer. But if you're looking at safety and ACMO is something that really does concern you. And again, I urge you to go and read all the documentation on it. And I'll try to put some links down in the description. If that is a value for you, then perhaps you don't mind paying up to $44 for a kilogram of this material. Now, when we compared it to the ABS from Elegoo, £18 a kilogram. Do you know what? It was a great result, just a little bit brittle, but again, does this mean the world to you? Is this a changing factor for you? Is this something that you will consider? Is this something that will change your mind either way? The other thing with the Elegoo, and I think just go and check on their website, may contain ACMO. It's, it's, it's sort of exposure times are down. Again, just going on about ACMO, I really just want to reiterate, that's something you need to go and do your homework on. Form Labs pages uh, of their website has got lots of information about it. Go and check it out. Make your own risk assessment make your own decision. When we come to their super clear resin, I was really impressed with that. That is gorgeous. And it's just glass-like, which is always a great thing when you've got a clear resin. You do not want it to be going yellow. You don't want it to be staining. And this is just beautiful. And I'm so, so happy with it. It's not cheap. Again, it's $45 for a kilogram. There are cheaper versions out there. I've used the Jam J high gloss before, which is about £23 a kilogram, which has given me some great results. But again, this one is ACMO free. That may be the difference to you. I hope you found that interesting today. I really, really would be interested to know what you think in the comments, whether you've used the Form Labs resin, whether you're happy with them. What do you think about the whole Form Labs situation with the prices, with their quality, with the ACMO? Just let me know in the comments below. If you like what you see today, please subscribe to the channel. Please think about joining the Greedy 3D Patreon. It's just a way of you to support the channel. You can join the Patreon for nothing. 
or you can pay a couple of pounds a month just to help me continue to do what I'm doing and that really is appreciated thank you to my patrons you guys you know what I say really really do appreciate everything you do you are wonderful thank you thank you um, let me know in the comments what you think about the whole video and I will see you next time we'll be doing some more resin testing I've got a printer I'll be reviewing soon we'll be testing some PLA uh, soon as well so uh, I'll say no more at this stage so I'll see you really really soon thanks for watching